Hey there, ho there, hi there. This is looking at the importance of chemical reactions in and around us. They're happening all the time, and a lot of times they're very useful, and sometimes they're not so helpful. So you think about your human body. You are a bag of chemicals, and within it are all kinds of chemical reactions that you are not even thinking about. They're happening all the time. In grade eight, you learn about cellular respiration learning about how that's how you get energy from the food you eat. Earlier in this course, we looked at, hey, how you make proteins. Well, when you stitch proteins together, that is a chemical reaction. You're digesting food. You're doing all these things. You have things called hormones that move around and cause things to happen. So these are all involving chemical reactions. We know that certain animals use calcium carbonate to make things like shells. We know there's something called photosynthesis from grade eight, where you're using the energy from sunlight to make sugar and oxygen. And that is what's called an endothermic process. And someday we'll talk about that, maybe today. When you travel, often it will involve a chemical reaction. It could be in an internal combustion engine. If you decide to get in a rocket, you're gonna be burning rocket fuel. If you're using electricity in BC, you might say, hey, that's not a chemical reaction. But if you live somewhere else where they're burning coal to make electricity, that's a chemical reaction. Often heat in your home, you're burning wood or oil or natural gas. Don't burn the walls of your house, but that still would be a chemical reaction. If you look around your home, you'll probably find all kinds of pure metals. Those metals were purified by chemical reactions. If you decide it's time to make some fertilizer, making ammonia can be done synthetically by chemical reactions. In grade 12, we talk about fuel cells and batteries and all kinds of detail. Most of the time we don't like rusting, so we do things to try to restrict that chemical reaction. Lots of things we buy are polymers, chemical reactions. When we refine petroleum, we're making these materials and those will be involved in chemical reactions for making pharmaceutical drugs. If you're trying to make roads, tunnels, all these kind of things involve explosions. Let's say you're trying to build a house in a rocky bluff. You may not be able to drill, you may have to blast it. Chemical reaction, airbags and cars. Well, guess what? You may be able to think of other ones, but reactions are an important part of everyday life and we wanna help you have a better understanding of quite a few of these reactions.